All right, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Candle Wax, and I'm the way. Welcome back to the Flame f -f 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 Flame Radio Alternative. <laughs> Welcome back to CAG. <laughs> if we ever had a radio show, that would definitely I... be it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that would be great. Yeah. And what kind of? Uh, what kind of? Oh, first of all, we're playing. Uh, oh, oh, game. yeah. So, Ben, totally you explain. Okay, so <laughs> we'll be up front. We recorded the first episode of this already. Indeed. But um, I goofed, and the game audio didn't happen. The game audio. Okay. So. It yeah. didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. Just not there. No, it just wasn't there. So we got to re-record it, but that's fine. That's fine. You know, it's, it's a it's a Metroidvania. You can do what you want. Yeah, thing, it, it is know? a Metroidvania. Let me get this mouse out of the way. Okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. Look at that. Man, call an exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are you guys doing? How are you, Zach? Uh, great, buddy. How, how's how how how's he going, huh? Dude, I'm go It's going great. Uh, so to explain, yes, in this game. The goal of the game is you need to find treasure. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of like if you watched our Luigi's Mansion playthrough, um, we'll put a card up in the top right corner. Yes, we will. Um, I'm a big fan of finding treasure in games. Yes. So, I heard about this game. If you guys remember Pinstripe, the first game we played on the channel, the developer, Thomas Brush, um, he uh, featured this on his channel because... The guy who developed this used to be an intern of Thomas. Which I think is really cool. It's, yeah. It's cool he's going back and, like, supporting his, like, intern, you know? Yeah. I don't want to say his intern, but, like, Right, 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 right. And he... This game is respectable, man. And he's also, like... He was an intern to Thomas. Oh. And I, I'm not sure if he's also, like, a game developer during the day. Okay. But I appreciate that he has his, like, own style. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Because this is, like, furthest from a Thomas Brush game, you know? It really I mean? is, like... Well, pixel art, but... Um, his name's Adam Smith, and gotta say, Adam, really good game. I played uh, the first three doors, and I had a good time with it. And it's Zach, Zach, what do you think so far of it? I, you know, I really like it. I really like. Is that Topaz? Wait, hold up, hold up. I don't care about my opinion right now. Uh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> There's a Topaz stone in it. Diamond. <laughs> Could More you imagine like, getting a oh diamond in your ring? Oh, why would you even wear it? <laughs> Dude, unbelievable. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's a really cool game. I like the whole um, non-linear fashion of it, mm -hmm. where you just have to kind of find your way through while collecting treasure, which is actually my favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah, and you can uh, punch me because I'm going to say this a lot. Okay. Because I love, I love, you know, looking oh, at no. what makes a game feel good. Yeah. But the game feel of this game is pretty solid. The game feel, how do you mean? So, like, when you jump on the platforms, mm -hmm. you get a little bit of, like, good feeling. They have, like, a little bit of a give. Yeah, a little almost. bit of bounce to them. Yeah. Or the, or the, I think, the the way the enemies explode. I also really like that. Yeah, there's... The sound, it hits, and then yep. it hits the ground and splatters. There's, like, three sounds in there. It's super nice, man. I love the sound design, and the music's great. The, I was gonna say, can the music... Hear here, let me, let me turn her up here so you can hear her, Zach. Okay. I was gonna say when we were doing the sound test, um, I did hear like a bit of the music. It's that like, would it be eight bit music or sixteen yeah. bit? I don't know. It's I one. Don't, I don't, yeah, it's one, one of those. One of those. Bit, <laughs> it's bit music for sure. It's pixel art. <laughs> it's, it's pixel art music. It is a Metroidvania. After all. <laughs> it's a Metroidvania. <laughs> Zach, we're kind of turning into a we're on, we're on a Metroidvania kick, aren't we? You know, we really are, and that is perfectly fine with me because this is is that topaz? I think it's a topaz uh, spray painted. That only they only got the part that's gold. But they left the blue part, the topaz, to show. Oh, yeah, well, see, that's the important thing. I yeah. don't give a shit about gold. <laughs> <laughs> Icky. <laughs> Icky gold. Um, I did Speaking have... Speaking of gold, Zach. Yes! High five, five! If it looks like I know what I'm doing in this game, it's absolutely not the case. I've just done this before. <laughs> um, Zach and I were talking about, like, do you just want to, like, ham it? Like, <laughs> like, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. I like to require wealth. <laughs> More like topaz. Um, <laughs> what the every <laughs> topaz. Well, topaz to you. It's the only thing of value in this game. You know what I mean? Everything is like spray painted topaz. Exactly. Or <laughs> topaz in the shape of something <laughs> else. I think you get that one at this level. Topaz? Yeah, you get a lot of topaz. Zach. Oh, perfect. The one that I'm thinking of. <laughs> topaz mushroom. Ooh. Blue cap. Blue cap. More like. 
Topaz. Topaz. <laughs> um, Topaz. I was actually really excited, Ben. I don't know if you talked to um, our uh, our friend, um, who's a who's a big fan of the show, not to toot our own horns, but um, he reached out to me and he was talking about how he he asked me about the game uh, Dead Cells. Have we talked about that on the channel? No. Well, let's do it because I was I have it on my Steam wish list now. Okay, because now Ben. Dead Cells is a... It's technically not a Metroidvania, though it looks like one. It did. I That was the first thing I noticed. Because it's technically what they call a, a roguelike. Yes. And basically, the gameplay loop of that game is... Uh, oh my god. Uh, Crimson Chin. Um, <laughs> it does, like... Can, ooh, I wonder if I can do that. Wait, hold on. Let's see if I can skip. Oh, yep, nice. I can skip. I okay. Like um, and so basically what it is, is oh, yeah. a... Um, you start off in Dead Cells and you have your guy, your character, mm -hmm. and basically you go through the level as far as you can make it. And when you die, because you will die, you go all the way back to the beginning of the game. But because you have the knowledge of these enemies are here or this item is here, you can keep going farther and farther. Is that it, what a roguelike is? Yeah, I think that is tech. I'm not totally I've sure. I've never actually, I've heard the term before. I just assumed there was a lot of sneaking. No, it's, that's exactly what I thought, but no, it's like a, it's a combat game, but that's what Dead Cells is. I think that's what it is. If not, um, Corn, can you go ahead and throw up a um, a definition of what a roguelike is, please? Thank you kindly. Thanks, Corn. Love um, you. But he, uh, so our friend asked about Dead Cells, and I was like, you know what? Honestly, I went into it, and I don't think I gave it a fair shot because um, I went into it under the notion that it was going to be a full-out Metroidvania. Right. And it wasn't, so I was like, you know, for me, it wasn't my favorite thing, but, you know, I think it's still, it still can be a fun game and whatever. And he, and so he was talking and I was like, well, can I make a recommendation? And I recommended to him, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, you know it. Which is, uh, I think probably my, one of my top five, fi oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you had a mad giggle session I in the last recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got this, Zach. It's easy. Squeezies. Nice, dude. Thank you kindly. Um, okay, we got a chalice. Oh, okay, I'll go back to those. Um, but I recommend it to to them um, because if you have, right, an Android... I don't know if it's on iOS. Frankly, I haven't looked. Um, but if you go on Android and you're interested in hearing the game that I talk about probably about as much as, I don't know, Cuphead or... Dark Souls and or the usual yeah, like, suspects that we talk about. Exactly. Oh, fucking Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight, yeah. Um, <laughs> to pinstripe. Yeah. Thomas Brush in general for me. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> you can g actually get the entire game for Symphony of the Night on, and at least on Android. It's like two ninety nine for the whole game. Dude, that's which that's actually a really great price. Yeah, so I mean. What is this, Tuber Simulator? <laughs> honestly. <laughs> It's free, and that's a great price. <laughs> it's a great price. <laughs> yeah, so I'd recommend uh, Symphony of the Night. A lot of people will say it doesn't really hold up uh, these days because it's a little bit older, mm -hmm. which I agree. It is, you know, I mean, it's definitely aged, but it's from, I mean, the first uh, system it was on was a PlayStation 1, I think it was. Yeah. So just because of its age, it's going to be a little bit less advanced than things like Hollow Knight or Ori or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I still think, you know, going back and looking at where an entire genre or one of the games that was like the progenitor of a whole genre, I think is really cool. Yeah. So, hey. It's on a CG recommend recommendation. Absolutely. List. We should make a whole recommendation. I was literally list. about to say we should. <laughs> Oh, jeepers. So, Ben, what have you been playing? But I know you just told me you uh, you got a, a particular <clears throat> oh, game. So, I... I... Okay. I just really want to talk about this, no, Ben. That's you know fine. I do. You know I want uh, to. Before <laughs> we move away from it, though, you, sure, you sure. said uh, uh, Symphony of the Night is only $2.99. $2.99, yeah. You know yeah. what's cheaper than that? What's that? This game. Ooh, good. Wait. High five it. <laughs> yeah. That's a good... I, I know exactly what you're going to say. Yeah. Yeah. This game is only a dollar. This is a dollar. On Steam. For this whole entire game. Like, yeah. That's nuts. And it's an indie developer. Go support this guy. I Ben, I have to tell you, I, I was going to uh, to text you about it. Yeah. I literally made a Steam account. I don't game, like, I don't PC game. I don't have like a, a game, like a system or a, 
a gaming Wait, computer. Really? Yeah. So I, but I literally made a Steam account to buy this really? game. Really? Yeah, and I just because. Do it, man. I think it's a. I mean, it's a dollar, and I'm like, I know that if I was in the position where I put so much blood, sweat, and tears into a game. Yeah. And I don't know how many people have uh, gotten this game. I also don't remember going over here the first time. So that's no, I oh. definitely, I absolutely didn't. Oh, actually, no, you didn't. No, interesting. Well, I'm glad uh, we're redoing this. Um, I think, yeah, I don't think I did either when I played through it. But I know that if I was putting blood, sweat, and tears into a game, and somebody gave me the, you gave me a dollar, right, mm -hmm. to show that hey, this person worked at a job for this money, and they chose to like put it towards a product that I made. Yeah, I would think that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, so, absolutely. I support the dude. Um, <laughs> 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 Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna race it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna race it. Aw. Now fuck. <laughs> Don't respond. You're gonna race it. Where did it go? <gasps> did it get launched? Oh, please. <gasps> no. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> I'm just mad. I've never seen you throw a tantrum more than that. Ben, I think you need to go watch our Orient of Mind Forest playthrough. <laughs> if you haven't seen me throw a tantrum yet. We'll leave a card. <laughs> Top right uh, corner. Thanks, Corn. And so, do the coins count toward the... I don't know. If this is a true Metroidvania, I haven't seen any sort of upgrades yet. Mm -hmm. So I'd imagine that it's probably for upgrades. That's what I'm, I'm wondering. Or maybe he took the Donkey Kong 64 approach, and when you go into the the room... Okay. The, I, I presume that's a boss fight, the one with the skull. Yeah, I think so. Maybe you need to give... Whoever the toll is, a certain amount of coins to okay. get into the boss. I don't know. It reminded me of Donkey Kong 64. I think I talked about that when we first recorded it. Because in Donkey Kong 64, you go through all the bosses, and then you go at the end of the level, or somewhere near the end of the level, there's an area where you pay the hippo bananas. <laughs> and he lets you into the boss. And a pig, I think. <laughs> Yeah. What? I, I'm serious. Corn, put up a picture of this. Sure, sure. Um, very I'm not cool. lying. Okay. There's literally a big blue hippo and a oh God, pink pig. I forgot about that. And fucker. they eat bananas and they let you go fight the bosses. Sure. It's so wholesome. Sure, sure. sure. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, so Ben, we were talking about <laughs> about a game that you've recently purchased. Oh, yeah. That I'm a big fan oh, of. Oh, yeah, I know you are. And I'm giddy about it, Ben. I know you are. Tell me, Ben, what game was so, it? So, well, I'm, not, I'm just going to give it to you now, you know? I got to gotta, gotta build up to it, you know mm, what I mean? Mm -mm. <laughs> Go ahead. So, I went on a kick of buying stuff on Steam. Uh, are you one of those people that has, like, an, uh, like a huge Steam library that you never play? I feel like you play a good amount of games. I do. Okay. I, but right now that is me. I mean, okay. for what I, dude, Can I you break I that? built a gaming. Com oh, nice secrets. Ooh, that's another added good added feature. And one feature I like here. Uh, when I was watching Thomas play it, he noted this. Listen. There's nothing. That's wild. That sound. Was, was that fucking? You know what that looks like? An, uh, it looks like a Decepticon. Round. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It does. I'm pretty sure. Is that, is that celery? No, that's his, uh, actually his uh, logo. The oh, yeah, it's uh, AD, is it a ADS or ADS? ADS or? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think this is initials. Adam D. Smith. Oh. Uh, I think. Yeah, no, that makes that makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. So, anyway, Ben, you were saying. Um, Fuck, why did I do that? God damn it. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. What was I saying? Um, you oh, I bought a lot of games, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, that is me right now because I just. I don't know for whatever reason like i'm very like hit or miss with steam okay but we had to buy like a controller for to play this game and i've been using like a really janky ps4 controller forever for pc gaming so yeah. i've been like really turned off of playing it okay so i went to ta the old target or uh i think I, no i went to tar target and they <gasps> didn't have it <gasps> wow topaz in the shape of a diamond <laughs> it's a dot why do they that's not how you spell topaz it's not, what? that's kind of crazy <laughs> Weird. Adam, dude, you got some spelling errors in here. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta fix that. You gotta fix it. Diamond? Diamond. Could you imagine? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy comes alive. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> Nerd. Ooh, wait, I can get up there. What? Anyway, so Target didn't have it. Then I went to I Walmart, and lo and behold. Yep. Okay. Oh, you can go up there. Cool. I just don't know how to get up there. <gasps> that may be, uh... Maybe, uh... 
lend credence to uh, that we may get a higher jump. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think maybe I don't know. I love the platforms, man. I like that they have a weight to them. Yeah, doesn't Hollow Knight do that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, it's a Hollow Knight thing. It's like yeah, it's like or a Metroidvania I know overall it from Hollow Knight. Yeah, it's probably in a lot of Crimson things. I love chin? how it looks like the Crimson Chin. <laughs> That was such, that's such a throwback. Um really pogo off that guy. Oh, well. The um Yeah, anyway, so I, I went to Walmart and finally I I ended up investing some money mm -hmm. to buy a nice Xbox controller. And I've been using it since. It's great, it's Bluetooth, wireless. With my PS4 controller, I was using it. I was had I was using a wire and it was really janky and you remember that. I do I remember. play like Fall Guys and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. I didn't even check if the PS4 had Bluetooth, to be honest with you. Fuck me. Okay. But it was a very broken controller anyway, so I needed an upgrade. Yeah. So, anyway, long story short, I was like, oh, I can play all these games now. So I bought Abzu Ori. Which, Abzu is so fucking good, dude. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> it, it's been on my list forever. I, I I think I had a few few beers, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm buying these games. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to play them anyway. I love Abzu. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just soaked, like, just... Uh, finally have you know a working set oh, jeepers. even though it was only just a controller purchase but anyway so i bought abzu mm -hmm. ori a game called tohu he can get up here no he can't no okay that was the other one <laughs> i was gonna say there's one that can yeah. get up here <laughs> he can't get up here he can't get up there. oh my god he can get up there he killed you um the gophers oh that felt good i bet yeah it did <laughs> <laughs> uh, jeepers and then um, the last one that Zach is talking about, I bought Dark Souls. <laughs> and this, this is the one that Zach is very giddy about. Dude, I literally love Dark Souls. So I know much. you do. Um, you, you've been recommending it to me for a long time. I just fell forever. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, Dark Souls is, is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I think, I mean, I say that about a lot of games, but Dark Souls is really the first game that was like, a difficulty check, you know, where yeah. where I got like into mm -hmm. games not being super fucking easy to walk through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This last guy comes alive, I think. One of them does, don't they? Is that a crossbow? Um, <laughs> looks like it. Yeah, but Dark Souls, it's it's one of those games. I I played it completely blind, which was I think the for me like the thing that really made it. Yeah. Uh, in that I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing or anything. Um. And I, I learned throughout just like trial and error. I remember I was on this first section. If you've played Dark Souls, you know. There's a section called the Undead Burg. Okay. Which is kind of like after you get past like the opening Firelink Shrine area. Um, it's like kind of like the first big um, area, right? Mm -hmm. And what you do is there's, I remember um, there's a bonfire and you have to like, I'm also saying if this guy can. Are you going to try to launch it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you um, don't go down. Oh, God. Can I, how do I do this? Can I? Can yeah. you? I'll tear <gasps> so bad. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, Wait. we're going to do this. Oh, for fuck's sake. We test the important things here in CG. Well, now, I, I also Lost don't... caves, can the eyeball use the spray? Can it bounce? Can but it bounce? I also don't remember where the last bit of treasure is. Um, oh, Sorry, we'll, we'll just keep walking around. We're just going to keep exploring. We're just going to keep having a good time here. But yeah, so the Undead Burg, there is this, um... So if you don't know, in Dark Souls, there are bonfires, which are the save points, right? Right. And I know you know this, but I'm just like, explaining so people no, understand. Sure, sure, like, yeah. um, so the bonfires, when you save, it re it restores your healing things, all of your health, your um, your stamina, but that auto-heal, or auto-regains. And then it also restores every enemy... Except for bosses and some mini bosses. I have at to get at to the that campfires? One. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yep. So <laughs> when you do that, like, there are some mini bosses, like, you'll encounter that they don't have a health bar, but they're definitely not a standard enemy, right? Right, right, right. And so uh, I remember the Undead Burg, I was like, okay. I was doing this trial and error where I would go out, I saved, I went and I killed, like, two undead soldier guys. And then I went and I saved, and I went out and I killed two of those, and then a third, you know, guy. Yeah. And it was just, it was very methodical, just because I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. But then I just got, how the fuck do I get up there? <laughs> I don't know, that one was tough for me. Too. I feel like I got it last time, though. I just don't, oh, that, that's immediately how I do it. Okay. Oh, that spring? Yeah. 
I think so, at least. Um, but yeah, that's why I was going through it, and I, it was just so fun doing trial and error. Yeah, this can is. Up, the, he can get up there. Give, give, give me you fucking <laughs> shit, sick. <laughs> ah, um. Okay, I saved. <laughs> okay. Um. But I yeah, so I went through this entire thing, and it was just such a a cool learning experience the entire time. But it's really it's a cool mm -hmm. game because you look and you're like, okay, well I got messed up by these standard enemies. But then I go through Ornstein and Smo, who are pretty notorious enemies. I remember you saying that a lot. Yeah, they're pretty notorious enemies, but when you can beat those with relative ease. Like, they're they're hard to beat, but you can do it pretty, like, because you learn so well. How the fuck did I... Do? Oh, my God. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, um, yeah, lure them. Let's do... I think this one. I can... Hey, you got one there. Yeah, I'm going to take that. And that... Ew. No, it's not Topaz. I don't want it. Red. Oh, jeepers! I think I remember the first time we, ah! we played it, you were like, that's a really ingenious trap. It's such a good trap. It really is. Yeah, man. I'm gonna... One of these days, I'm gonna just sit down and start it. I think you'll like it. I think... Because I, I just beat Ori. Yep. I... And I was playing a little bit of that Tohu game. The art style. Is what is Tohu? I guess I don't know. It's what a that point is. and click game. Interesting. So the the loop is you, well, pointing and clicking, but you can change between this little girl. Okay. But she has like some pendant or something that can change her into like this giant like steel robot that can lift things. So you got to switch to him to lift heavy things, and then you got to switch to her for other things that the robot can't do. So mm. the art style is so there's so much animation in it, and this is on Switch or Steam. Steam, okay. Uh, Corin, throw up a I don't know an image oh, of it. Oh, that's how I do it. Yeah, it's really um, <laughs> adios, fucker. <laughs> it's a it's a really pretty um, really pretty game. I was impressed by the. Uh, is that just Iron Man helmet from RuneScape? <laughs> wow, I haven't made that reference to me. I'm sorry. Okay, do so you want to bring back the RuneScape counter? You know what? Maybe. We'll talk. I don't know. Do you guys, everybody who's watching Lost Cave, do you guys want us to bring back, you know, because I, I know, like, there were some times in, in like, we did it in, uh, obviously, our Luigi's Mansion playthrough. That's the only time we did it. Yeah, and then, like, I think people were like, man, you guys really flubbed it up by not bringing back the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> bring back that counter, too? That's exactly what I thought. Heck I said it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, people were like, wow, you guys aren't bringing it back. Like, what's the deal? And people really liked it, so, I don't know. I like that we, like, I've noticed this with us, like, doing this channel now for a little while, is that we, I really am proud that we have some jokes in different, like, um, just running jokes in each series that's yeah. a little different from each one. I'm gonna get hit. So. Okay. I noticed that with, uh... A little pat on our backs. You know? Yeah, it's it's cool. It's and people like tell us they like the jokes and stuff like that. The one then, not to get super meta and talk about myself. No, it's fine. But I know that's not gold. But I I want I also did I complete this when we played it the first time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to see what's in like the next room. You had trouble with the same chest, I think. Okay. Because I you were like, how do I get this one? I don't know. I skipped <laughs> it. <too. laughs> I think there's a spring somewhere there you can use. So, this is where we left off. Okay. So. Uh, the one thing that's a really big hit for whatever reason is from our Limbo playthrough. Oh, yeah. When I tell you to progress the story. Oh, yeah. That was a sleeper of a people series. People really man. liked it. It was a sleeper of a series, but then people also really liked that joke. Yeah, which it's is a great. I mean, joke. it's cool. I don't know, but I didn't, didn't expect it to be, you know, so popular. Put the put the box on put, put the Put the rope above the, the box. box. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> God, what a great game. We gotta play inside one of these days. Yeah, I, and I think that was kind of like a... You're like, yo, I heard about the... I, th I think it was a pretty organic, like, you're like... Yeah, yeah was, you heard about this game, and I was like, oh, that game is sick. Yeah, that that was a very organic pick. And we weren't very really, really sure on that one. No, and it it honestly, I think is... That's maybe one of our... I think that and Luigi's Mansion been our most popular one. Yeah. And Pinstripe, honestly. And was, Pinstripe, too. I love Pinstripe, man. Pinstripe. You, guys, you guys know how much I like that game, though. Pinstripe was a game. Fuck. Oh, wait. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh. It's just my kind of game. It's a game I'm glad, like... Ben, do you consider watching games... Like, if you if somebody's like, yo, have you played this game, and you haven't personally played it, but you've watched somebody play it, do you consider that... Oh, hey! Is it... 
the Cascade badge from <laughs> honestly <laughs> from freaking uh, it's a raindrop from Pokemon. Yeah, from Pokemon. The um, one that Misty gives you. Yeah. So do you consider if you watch somebody playing a game, do you consider yourself to have played it, or do you actually have to control it? I think you got to control it. I get, I do too, but I, I think you can observe certain things. But I think the best way to get like feel for the mechanics, like I want to be able to feel how good the jump is without playing this game. Yeah, I get that. Like that's why I was like, oh yeah, I bet that felt good. Yeah, because like, I which don't know. is also the reason why I will never say that I've played and beaten uh, Witcher. It's, uh, yeah. Because fuck Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I just we know we know we I don't know. care for it. Exactly. But then you uh you played uh Cyberpunk, right? What did you think of that? That's a C Project Red game. Yeah, my computer. Oh my god! My computer is not equipped for all those bugs. R really? I'm okay. Just joking. That was a joke. <laughs> I'm oh, sure for all those really bugs. Really hard on that, but I mean, um, no, I actually my computer is not equipped to like oh, play on full settings. Really? So I yeah, it's a lot. My computer's really old. Okay. It's like I built it in God, like 2014. Oh, I didn't know your computer was like yeah, older. Okay. I built it a long time ago, and I didn't. I didn't know as much about computers as I do now when sure. I built it. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Uh, it runs m m most games pretty well. Okay. Um, I was going to build a new computer, as I told you. Yeah. That's I forgot how expensive computers are to build, though. I knew it, and I had it all in my cart, and I was ready to pull the trigger, and I was like, I'm, I can't do it. Yeah, no, it's just... Then they started, like... All the stuff started going out of stock because I built it so long ago. Okay. And I was like, I don't want to do this right now. Oh, that's sick. That looks fucking cool. Yeah. Oh, the flames. Oh, that's I really never cool. noticed that. That's cool. I wow. like that. I just the only thing I would say is the um, the button to like indicate to hit it should be like a bigger button. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like so it says like hit me, like maybe like a circle instead of like the little triangle. I exactly. Know. Yeah, I get that. That's that's my that's the only thing. Hey, it's a beetle. Thank God, God, yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did it? Inverted cross? <laughs> I was gonna literally say that. Or an arrow. Yeah. Arrow. Yeah, sure. sure. I'm gonna go back. Zach? Hey Zach, did you not did you not want to die? Oh no! It's a good thing you just saved. <laughs> I'm gonna swing at my own self. Um okay now. That's huh? really pretty. I that is noticed. really I didn't cool. even notice that when I was playing. Okay, what I'm gonna do, Ben? Sick. I know we're almost done here. Yeah, yeah. We have a few minutes. I'm gonna save after turning the lights on, so I don't start this off and then immediately die again. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boink! Give me that. Give me the beetle. Beetle. Okay. You can probably pogo on this guy. Yep. Yeah. There we are. But I'm gonna try and outrun him because I don't want to get deaded again. Okay. Deaded. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get deaded. You know how it is. Okay, here we go. Give me that. Boink. Okay, done. Give me the give me the flames. Okay. Hell yeah. Zach, do you want to send it off here? We do you want to send it off here? Yeah, we can sure. do that. Sure. Okay. Well, guys, if you like what we do, you should hit the subscribe button. Yeah, please. Hit please. the bell notification icon because then you get reminded when we put stuff up here on YouTube. And uh, hit the like button and leave us a comment below and. Ow, that's my wrist. Okay. You hear that? Yeah, that was loud. Ouch! I'm sorry Jeez. about that. Good golly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And, I'm gonna um, go to the doctor now. <laughs> <laughs> um, most importantly, that's awesome. That's I, really fun. I'm pointing at the screen, but I love the idle animation after like however long it is. Yeah, he goes to sleep. That's cool. That makes me feel like part of the world. Um, most importantly, go buy this game. Yeah, seriously, please, please do. Go buy it. Download Steam. Downloading Steam is free. We'll. we'll uh, do you want to throw the link yeah. for it in the, yeah. in the description? For all of the recordings of this game, we'll always we'll have the yeah, link we'll in the description. Yeah, we'll put it in the description. And, um, yeah, go buy it. Uh, Adam, really sweet game. We're going to keep playing it here. Yeah. And, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have anything else to say to the people, Zach? No, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to. Oh, actually, yeah. Be sure to check out our, uh, our Ori playthrough, Ben, because we're doing this. Well, in tandem with our current Ori playthrough. Yeah, we're peppering this in. Yeah, so... So, yeah, we'll be uh, uploading Ori on their next day. Yep. And, and then we'll be doing this uh, once uh, once a week, right? Yeah, so do you want to explain that really quick? Yeah, we could do that. Might as well. So we're doing... Um, we decided, because we're, we've upped our recording to four days a week, that uh, in order to have a little bit of variety... To, you know, variety is the spice of life, is, the is what they say. spice of life. Yeah, uh, uh, is what they say. Um, that we're going to pepper in a, a different game from our main playthrough. So Ori right now, Ori in the Blind Forest is our main playthrough, but we're also going to do uh, Lost Cave 
on one day a week and you know it might come out that maybe this becomes our main playthrough yeah, we'll or see how people respond yeah we'll see or maybe we'll just keep doing this as a one day a week kind of thing and when we start our next uh big playthroughs just so we have a little bit of variety so people aren't you know bored of uh bored of us you know yeah. that, that's you know that's not good we don't want them to be bored no of us. no 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 Please don't be bored Please don't of us. Bored of us. <laughs> yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of variety. And Ben, I interrupted you. Go ahead, buddy. It's all right. The- <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is the wick. This is c- 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 candle wax. And the fire is about to get extinguished. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.